working? Uh, we're all busy right now, but this one we're trying to take care of today, so. Okay, all right then. Jesse? What? What? No, we just got a lot of work going on. Look, I text you. Yeah. Just have no time for that right now. Not to search, so. So why can't we call in Grand County to search? Because I don't want them out here. When we get back out there, then that's when we'll end hours here after my last day. Then we'll go from there. Your last day what? I, I can talk to you at a later date. I just need to take care of this real quick. Okay. Put him on the spot to see what he can do next. Yeah. Because with it, if we're involved and I'm involved, I have to keep you notified of things, and we're not getting that information either. Yeah. Because look at us, we didn't know they're gonna do a search today. Yeah. He tells you differently, and then he doesn't at least give you the courtesy to say, "I can't meet you today. I have this going on." Yeah. And I kind of said that to him before he walked out. Oh. I told him, "Well, it would be nice for you to at least tell tell her this." And then she wouldn't be making her way out here. She would have had an idea that you couldn't meet with her today. Because <clears throat> I said she's told me what you've done, what you said to her. And he just, he, I know he's not happy, but that's my yeah, thing to just is. keep, t you know, I'll keep pushing it because I, I know that he'll shut me down, but I still have questions. Said something about some boot mark, you know, mm -hmm. that they had found. And I said, Jesse wasn't wearing boots, he was wearing these, he was wearing deck shoes. Mm. And I was like, so he's not climbing up Mount Turnbull in deck shoes. And they're just like, well, deck shoes, that's the first time I've ever heard of this. And I was like, no, it's not. I've been telling you guys, like, you guys just aren't asking me the questions and writing it down. Like, there's a lot of details that I know and no one's like interviewed me. And they were even saying to me, they were saying, did Scottsdale police interview the girlfriend in Scottsdale? And I was like, well, not really, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I was thinking, you guys haven't interviewed me. You haven't interviewed the train guys. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want information, if you want to put this puzzle together, we got to come together at some point and all talk. When there's like a family member involved, it gets more emotional but at this point i don't know how we're going to figure out what happens um, or what happened unless i'm involved and i just think that i mean if you want to if they want to sit down and all ask me questions i'm an open book i try to be as open with everything as i can because it sounds like oj's the only one that took info right yeah he's the only one that pretty much asked you yeah. And gave you except here correct no one here has okay. no the police department no one um verduga asked me what the kids names were in case they did find him and everything mm -hmm. and i did ask him you know if they find his remains to tell me like to like take note of like his body position and different things like that mm -hmm. so that i could you know try and put some puzzle pieces in my own mind together and then I know that it doesn't you know make sense typically for them but yeah. I really like share my frustration with fish and game because I don't know who's like okay, their family sense. and stuff mm -hmm. but he said you know I'm just so frustrated that they haven't gone out there yet to look for your brother and I said really and and he said yeah you know the same thing happened with my uncle so that is the fifth person that has told me the same thing happened with their family member and they as a family had to go out and search for their family member's remains. And so what is it going to take for someone to be like, whatever is going on here is not working. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's like a council member that's in charge of law enforcement. So he's in charge of the two of them. And I and I, or he or she, I don't know, mm -hmm. wants to knock their heads together. I know that it's frustrating and it's all about trying to, you know, win flies with honey rather than vinegar type thing. And you just got to get people to work together, but... We don't do that very well on reservations. Why it's not? Really 
I don't know what it's about, but it's always you've been dealing with my own reservation. Real territorial. Like it's like you can't get beyond the doors to ask questions, okay? And it's like they, they just operate in sections without communicating. And there's always has to be this middle person to communicate to everybody and that I think has to become OJ. I'm gonna be honest, because okay. when OJ's in the middle, along with Tawawana assisting while he's gone, you know, that's why when we recommend or suggest things, it's like we're talking to every person in the area to but get But is home. OJ letting him know, like, is OJ still trying to not step on toes? Because it feels like, you know, and think- honestly, I don't know. It's not stepping on toes. This is the hard part, and this is going to be, I don't know if you'll get or understand, because even with me moving here, not being from here, I always have to tread lightly in the beginning, too, because this isn't my home reservation. Even though I'm Native and people see me as Native, I still get, where are you from? How is this? You know, how do you do things traditionally? Just because me not from here Mm -hmm. even I have to even be careful with certain people on how I ask things okay Mm -hmm. and that's hard to see because I I wish we all operated the same across the board you know the real life of the reservation is always real difficult because you like I said they're all in their parts they're all secluded in their parts how are things gonna get better Mm mm-hmm being honest and so I don't mean to like come in and step on toes I just want to be honest and upfront, and that comes off as being rude and yeah. pushy and <clears throat> you're very proactive you want to know what's going on and I don't think they know how to how to handle all the questions you have I don't think they know how to handle that you're going to be here every day you're going to be in their faces every day you know because I've seen so many native families give up and yeah. back off and that's not you you're not going to okay that's why I guess people like me have assisted families that way where I'm in their faces and I'm talking to them because they've given up a lot of people I've worked with have just really given up you know and but I've met you, I've met other families in your position that have, are native, and when it comes to this situation, you're not going to. Your loved one's out there. What's going to happen? Even them, get, they get shut down. Yeah, mm-hmm. they do, and mm-hmm. they have to sneak out there, but they can. I can't. Mm-hmm. When he said that I could come out on the search on Monday, mm-hmm. um, I didn't really want to go alone, you know, and... Um, so I asked him, I said, he was just like, well, I'm trying to get some dogs together. I got to find out if I can get some dogs together. I'd like to get four or five dogs out there. And I said, well, Joe, the fire chief in Globe has a dog. And he said, I know Joe, he doesn't have a dog. And I said, he just told me the other day he has a dog. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And he said, no, he doesn't. I'll text him right now. And I texted him and I said, Tim says you don't have a dog, and he says, yes, I do, and um, then on Friday, I went, and I talked to him, and he was the one who, like, was like, can you show me a picture of the shoe, and I said, yeah, I have a picture right here, and um, then we looked it up online, and I sent him pictures of, like, what the tread looks like, Mm. and everything, and he's like, well, I can't come out until um, Tim invites me. But we'll, we'll come out as soon as he does. I'll, I'll, I'll be ready and waiting. And that's pretty much where everyone is. They're just ready and They're waiting. They're like on standby, huh? Yeah.